are starting here on Adam Lawson's truck. Uh, this is a truck that we're working with DNJ on. Uh, they're doing an enforcer build for it. And uh, this truck will end up with a Bosch standalone as well. Um, we're starting with getting the engine bay ready for the enforcer. We ended up modifying the firewall. This cowl, we end up uh, raising it up and welding a higher cowl in it so that we have the room to work on the top end of the enforcer with it being taller. Um, they can be put in without doing this, but it just really makes life a lot nicer when you um, do that. You can get push rods out and you can actually work on the top side of the engine. So we did that. Um, we pulled the lift kit off of the truck. It just had like a, a small lift kit on it and uh, we're getting ready to do four link. We'll walk around to the back. I'll show you that a little bit. All right, so we've got the back end all stripped down and we're ready, getting ready to put the four link in it, cut all the old bracketry off, clean everything up. Uh, Mitch and Zig have spent a good bit of time on this thing already. Um, just getting everything cleaned up takes a lot of time to get um, all the brackets off and uh, clean everything up and make it look smooth. So now we've got the axle on the table and Zig is working on getting the four link brackets ready to go on that and then we can start laying out the four link brackets and start doing the truck side of stuff from there. We're here today with Chris Hickingbottom, and you have made it a long way in from Oregon. Mm -hmm. And this is a long time coming for him. This is a project that he started, shoot, what, 2020? 2020, yeah. Yep. And uh, tell us a little bit about the journey and uh, what you got going on here. A uh, truck came from Colorado. A buddy of mine sold it to me at a car dealership, uh, blew a head gasket. Uh, we made a deal. He would pay for the labor, I'd pay for the head gasket, and smoke the trans in it next. So we put a fire pump trans in it. And then... It's a 48 swap. Yep. Yeah. Now it is a uh, DNJ Enforcer, uh, 472 over 88 setup with 250% over injectors and two 10 mil pumps. So it should be a pretty rowdy setup. Yeah. So this is something that he started the project at home in his garage, and I don't know, you said you had family and stuff that was kind of hard to put the hours in that you needed. Yep. He sent the truck into us to have us wrap up some projects. We finished up some fab work on the turbo side and a bunch of the wiring and you know, plumbing, fuel lines and all that stuff, got all that stuff ironed in. So now we're at the end of the project. We're going to put it through its paces here on the dyno to see what power it makes. And uh, what, you're going to drive it back home? Yeah. It'll be a long road trip. Oh, yeah. How many hours do you think it is? GPS at 34 or 35 hours, something like that. Yeah, so, so you'll be home by tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what power we can make today. Hopefully everything plays nice and uh, we don't have any new truck, uh, new build grounds. All right, well, we're finishing the day with 1,259 horsepower. Is that going to be enough for you? I think so. Yeah, so compared to what you had before, I think you'll have a good time. Mm -hmm. Take a little while to get used to that. Uh, we are 1,259 horsepower, 1,759 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, Tune 1 was at 660 horsepower. So that should give you a good spread to uh, turn it up, turn it down, have some fun. Oh, yeah. And uh, hopefully you can survive a, uh, a long drive back home. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's been a long time coming for you. I know it's been a couple years since you drove the truck. Yeah, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Should be a good time. So we're looking forward to getting some feedback from you back on the West Coast. And 
uh, hopefully you can enjoy this truck for a long time with your family and your kids can have some fun in it as well. Yes, sir. Okay, well, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.